Hello, hello. Hello. Can you hear me all right? I can. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you fine. Excellent. Glorious. I can't I never tell these things. Technology is just... I know, exactly. <laughs> so, it's too technical, please. These days. But how are you? Yeah, good. Yeah, hanging in there. How are you? You've been doing this all morning. I've been, like, popping in and out watching oh. you. Your brain must be scrambled oh. by now. Yeah, I'm getting there. I've got, like, <laughs> I've got a break after this one. So it's all... I was going to say, you have lunch after this, so you can have a complete meltdown at that point. Yeah. I'm trying to drink. I must remember to keep drinking because it's hard. It's like talking. It's the most talking I've done for months as well. So. <laughs> it's like, yesterday was, like, the first day I went out anywhere since... Really? Uh, properly out. Well, Leicester has had it harder than some. Mm. Is that, yeah. it's probably good you've kind of stayed in. Yeah. Yeah, it's only like, I think Friday they changed it a bit so we could like, loosen more. it up. Yeah. Right. So that's Is there going to be any outdoor entertainment in Leicester? Do you guys have any venues up there that offer mm. that? We've got um, Kill of House, if you've heard of it. It's yes, of course. Of... Is that up in Leicester? I'll that, see. That's it's how ignorant I am. Of course, it's Leicester. Yeah, that's me. Oh, okay. Right, right, right. That's kind of, it's about twenty minutes down the road from me, by car. Amazing. But I guess there's like the space is not really not in the city centre. I guess so much, but there is kind of big parks and stuff where they do like concerts sometimes. I guess they could. Yeah. So that wanted. that will probably be one of the first. Although, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, crazy, yeah. crazy, yeah, crazy. Yeah. Yeah, it's not been a fun time, has it? <laughs> Seems a long while ago, like, even when I think about it, cause I mean, like, it was only January, wasn't it, when I saw you in Northampton? Kind of, so yeah. It was and we had no idea. No yeah. idea. No idea. Yeah. It's all good. Crazy. I've got, anyway, I've got, like, I've got a fair few questions that I've written down. Excellent. <laughs> so, they're, they're probably getting worse as the day goes on, obviously, because I'm just probably repeating <laughs> myself after them. <laughs> But the first question I've been asking everyone is how did you get into acting in the first place? Um, yeah, no, this is, I've always wanted to be an actor. I mean, you know, my parents tell stories about how I would, you know, gather all the kids in the neighborhood together and make them do a show. And yeah. being the only person that actually wanted to be there, that was, yeah, not great for them. But um, yeah, so I went, uh, I did it in high school and I, did it in university and then I went to drama school and then I just, I've always done it. Yeah. I took a little time off to be a mum, but even then I was still doing it locally. So yeah, it's something I just, I, I define myself by the fact that this is what I do, which is probably not great when we're in a time like this because, um, yeah, yeah. but you know, I'm discovering new ways to do it. So yeah, maybe that's the best thing about this time. People are popping like, creativity really out there aren't they exactly Crazy. it's it's an opportunity yep yeah it's um i've done a couple of zoom plays now and yeah i, I haven't completely i don't completely love that as um a yeah. performance format but it, you know it's it's interesting and it has its uh, yeah. you know it's 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 entertainment in its own way so i i don't want to put it down but it is it's challenging you know, you sit yeah. there yelling at your computer and wondering why you're not feeling anything. <laughs> it's like, yeah, okay. Nice. Yeah, crazy. Yeah, it's it's crazy. I mean, I've not, I've not, I've probably not been as good as I should have been because I'm a theatre blogger, but watching theatre during this time, I suppose, because just lose that connection, I think, is a bit. It's such heavy. an important part of live theatre. Yeah. And, you know, film is something very different and you, you don't, you know, that's, you, you can't even compare it. Live theater, there's yeah. nothing like it. And right you have to be live in the room. I, last week, you know, with this mild opening up, I had an opportunity to perform live. And it was in a small venue with everyone like against the walls, you know, like 20 yeah. feet away from me. And I sang in the little corner and it was, you know, they all had masks on and it was so bizarre. Yeah. It was exciting to be in a room singing live for people, but it was frightening and kind of like a Twilight Zone episode as well. It was just mm. absolutely bizarre. Anyway, baby yeah. steps. Okay, we'll, we'll get back there. We will, hopefully, sooner than rather than later. But like you say, the app store stuff yeah. is kind of starting into it, so that's, that's positive. That we're getting yeah, there. absolutely. Yeah, yeah. And 
another question. What kind of what was the kind of first role that you remember playing? I mean, this could be like unprofessional or kind of when you're in school or. <laughs> well, yeah, no, I, yeah, no. I, I remember playing a ballerina, and then I was double cast as a lion in the mm. um, circus pageant at my school. Um, let's see. Now, the first, actually, I first started getting paid for this um, as a dancer at Disneyland, which was Amazing. great, but like thousands of years ago. So you know, reinvented myself a million times since then. So, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Amazing. And kind of, yeah, it was like you say, going back to January and the MAME, that was such a, yeah. such like a brilliant production. Was that like... Uh, <laughs> And it was just a short run, so it didn't didn't tour very long, did it? And obviously, you did it in Manchester. Yeah, that was. I absolutely loved that production. The people in it were insane. Yeah, yeah. such talented people. And the the great thing is, we knew, you know, going into it, it it's a, you know basically a fringe production because it's at the, the Hope yeah. Mill Theater, and so it's. Yeah. You know, when you go into a production like that with people that are used to working on the West End, you know, everyone's there because they love it and they yeah. know that the production's going to be exciting. Mm -hmm. And everybody giving that much heart and soul to it just made the experience so amazingly fabulous. And it was creative and, you know, because nobody's done it here for 50 years. So we got okay. to create those characters like we wanted to and, you know, really explore them. We all got to do some fun characters, even like the best, best dancers in the chorus. They all got to do some really, really fun characters too, which was amazing. So, yeah. Yeah, hopefully, hopefully, I mean, obviously not right now, but obviously there's life in that production again somewhere. Cause it was, it, people It'd be see, amazing. So if it did, yeah. It, yeah. It would be amazing to be able to reunite that group again. Yeah, it's yeah. such, yeah. Tracy Bennett is just oh. every night yeah. listening to her. She's just, yeah, she's a force yeah. of nature. <laughs> yeah, she's one of them. One of them people. That, I don't know how many shows I've seen her in, but quite a few now. But it's just, she's yeah. always phenomenal. Just, yeah, she's she's just mind boggling. Absolutely. Well, and yeah. everyone, everyone yeah, was, that, that was just, just amazing, amazing, amazing in that production. Yeah. Brilliant. Hopefully, hopefully that show does life because that production needs to be seen again. Just, yeah. Just, well, thank you. I'm so glad you you got to see it. That was yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, very proud yeah. of that one. Yeah, it's very fortunate because yeah. Northampton's quite a nice, nice, nice venue for it, I think, as well. Yeah, that's the first time I've been there. It's a great venue. It's, I mean, there are those venues that you don't, if you're doing a national tour, you don't generally get to visit those because they're a little smaller, a little more yeah. intimate. Yeah. yeah, what a what a gift for a performer to be able to work there because you just. Mm -hmm. It, it, it's like a very small venue, but it's a big venue. So it's, yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. it's gorgeous. Amazing. And obviously, you've worked on, people don't know this, you were in the first two episodes of season three of The Crown. Yeah. How, how was that kind of filming that? Was that, kind of... that was amazing. Yeah. That was amazing. I mean, when you watch the episodes, I mean, you blink and you'll miss me. I actually, I worked on that for three weeks. I mean, you hear these stories all the time with big projects. People, I just heard a story yesterday of somebody that filmed for six weeks on Solo and they're not in the film. They work for six weeks filming things. So anyway, so yeah, it was, it was amazing. The, a, a production like that, well, I don't know. It, maybe it's just that particular production. Everyone is at the top of their game and everyone was really relaxed and happy. Yeah, yeah. And that was so, it just made for the environment to be so creative because everyone knew that they could all just kind of chip in and they were going to be heard and they were knew they were contributing something. There was one scene that um, unfortunately didn't end up in the show that, um, was a very big scene with Helena Bonham Carter and yeah. watching her work was insane and a complete master class and it was just uh, it was, uh, yeah what a gift to be able to work on that I absolutely loved it and we got to film in Spain for a week mm -hmm. so that was amazing the guy that played my husband and I we just you know we would do our day and then we'd go mm -hmm. off to an amazing restaurant and have tapas and then we'd go for a walk in these beautiful city that we were in and yeah it was amazing yeah high, highlight career highlight 
Amazing death. So far, so far, of course. So far, exactly. Okay, exactly. Can't. You never know. <laughs> also, I mean, going back, this is going back, obviously, the first time I ever saw it, it was 10 or 2 Cities. That's, I don't know, is that eight years? Oh, I was yeah, wondering years. what the first one you yeah. saw me in was. Okay. Eight years ago, yeah, Charing Cross. Yeah, was, that yeah. was great. That was a club shows that. I don't think many people, obviously, now, because it's so long ago, people probably don't know about it, that it was on. I I think that was the first time I worked with Rocky Plews. Yeah. You know Rocky, don't you? Choreographer, director. She is amazing. Mm. She is, I mean, I'm sure some of your listeners know who she is. She yeah. is hilarious and so creative. And yeah, yeah, she's brilliant. Absolutely. And yeah, a brilliant director and a brilliant choreographer. I mean, she came into there as a choreographer, but I've also, you know, she's yeah. an amazing director as well. Yeah, yeah. Love her to death. Oh, What's yeah. that? Oh, we, I'm not. You can read them. Can oh, read them. Carolyn saw it. Amazing. Yeah. Hello, Amazing. Carolyn. <laughs> yeah, and that was a fun yeah. part too because that was um, a real character role. So, yeah. which is great. I love playing these character roles, and these are roles. That's a role that you know. Obviously, I played whatever that was eight years ago, yeah. and that's a role I could play in forty years. So yeah. it's yeah. it's those those are those are my roles. And when I was in, you know, 16 years old, I was already playing those roles. So it's it's one of the great things about being a character woman is you yeah, you, you don't generally grow out of your roles. <laughs> no. I was listening earlier to one of your guests, yeah. and they play children. I mean, it's like you have yeah. you have your type, and it's like you know yeah. she's going to be in her 40s, and she's still going to be playing yeah. children yeah. probably. Yeah, yeah. No. But uh, yeah, another show, obviously, then was Strangers on a Train, which is completely different. Kind of yes, I remember you seeing that. That was... Because it wasn't on that long again, I don't think, was it? Well, um, the, the plays in the West End, they go, yeah, they you know, they've it. got their four months and then they're done. And generally, the you know, the principals all have, you know, yeah. film sets to get back to and television and all the rest of that. So, yeah, that was amazing. What an, a brilliant cast of people. Yeah, I yeah. mean, sharing a dressing room with Anna O'Byrne was yeah. mind-boggling, you know, fan of her work. And yeah. Um, yeah, 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 that was, that was, yeah, loved that. And that was kind of my first big West End, because I'd done a couple of shows at the Charing Cross, which is technically yeah. a West End theater, yeah. but it's yeah. not very big. So it's not really a West End theater. It's kind of like that in-between ground. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, Strangers on the Train was like my first proper West End show, which was very exciting. Yeah, it's like such a spectacle as well, I might remember of it. That's the whole well, the set, design, the light, the light and everything on that. Oh. To make it, I mean, obviously, you know, the iconic black and white film, you want to, you know, get that in the design, and they yeah. did. And the merry-go-round. Yeah. And the, I mean, it, yeah. It just still boggles the mind to think about what they did. We, I was, you know, I was in the ensemble, but I was also covering Imogen Stubbs yeah. for that. Yeah. And because of the spectacle of the set, we didn't actually ever get to do like a full understudy run yeah. because it yeah. was just so insane what they would have had to put together to get yeah. us to do it. So, yeah, amazing, 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 amazing. thing to be a part of. Of course, nine to five. I think you did. Yeah. The the little the little nine to five. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, so how's it? Is it more? I don't know the right word is like a special playing to like a smaller intimate audience, or is it kind of? Um. Well, I mean, it's you know people ask that. What's the difference between? you know, doing a, a, a film and doing theater. It's like everything has its own, every yeah. venue, every medium has its own kind of audience, its yeah. own kind of space that you're communicating the message to, telling the story to. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, no, I love small venues, but I love big venues yeah. too. Yeah. I mean, yeah, that that particular show was really really fun again i think you know the cast the level of talent in the cast was just mind-boggling because 
they knew it was going to be an exciting project to be a part of. It was the first time nine to five was done in a fringe venue in, in the country. And it was, yeah, everyone was really, really up for the challenge. And I mean, such amazing people in that. Yeah, yeah. Amanda and get out, stay out. What? Oh my God. She's so amazing. Yeah. 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 Anyway. Amazing. Yeah. I'm, I'm not sure. I feel, I feel bad for that. I always like to get, when you go to London, I always get lured into like these big venues. Don't you? you always kind of forget the small ones are there, don't you? Kind of... Oh, the fringe stuff in London yeah. was and will be again. Yeah, yeah. Amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Amazing. Obviously, you've got to talk about your cabaret that you've done. Yeah. You've written and performed it yourself. So obviously that's kind of a big... Yeah, and uh, I had help on that. I do have to oh, yeah. admit that. But that was, I mean... <sighs> This is the thing. Any artist should always be creating their show. You yeah. know, even if you're never going to perform it, you should always be creating it. And, yeah. you know, what is your story? And my story at that point, well, it still is, is, yeah. you know, I took some time out to be a housewife. Yeah, yeah. And that was a really great thing. And I feel very blessed that I had that time. But it's also there are challenges to going back to a career after taking some time out. And that's basically what the show's about. And I think anyone that is a mother or has a mother or knows a mother understands that challenge, which yeah. is pretty much everyone. So it's, you know, it's, it's tricky when you drop out and come back and yeah, the challenges of that. So yeah, yeah it was, it was great to be able to explore that. And I have friends that help me on that that are like, Oh, we need to do again. And the thing is we could do it again because yeah, yeah. you know, my life's moved on and there's some, fun new stories I could tell no, yeah. about yes. these last six years. So yeah, yeah. My kids have gotten older. There were a lot of fun stories about my kids, but yeah. you know, they've done some new things that I could share yeah. that people yeah, would yeah. enjoy hearing. Yeah. <laughs> bless, bless them. <laughs> I guess like you say, like you had the time off when you were coming a mother. That you've had that time off now. So I guess that kind of impacted on you as well, wasn't it? Yeah. I I, I did another one woman show based on the Phaedra myth yeah. and I've started to explore, you know, different ways of yeah. producing that because that's, you know, this whole zoom technology theater, yeah, yeah. that's kind of a fun story that that might work really well in. So anyway, yeah. I mean, when you have time off, it's, it's really just time to work on your show. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I guess, I guess so much in the way you don't, you don't get that time off time, do you? Is that just Not you? usually, no, no, exactly. So yeah, it, it, it's it's hard because yeah, I've always defined myself by my work, and when I'm not working, it's it's like who, who am I? And that's yeah. that's been the biggest challenge, I think. Um, yeah. I've been taking lots of classes that keeps reminding me that yes, I am an actor and yeah. you know, that's what this is all about and that's great. But it's yeah, yeah it's a it's a challenging time and it's good that we acknowledge that it's a challenging time. Yeah, yeah. Been, be all yeah. sorts of there be Corona musical in the next year and we're <laughs> Someone's written it probably already, but Absolutely. Oh, there's gonna be a lot of oh, yeah, be... amazing art that comes out of this. You know there will be. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's endless. They'll be endless like TV shows and films, aren't they all? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bring it on, bring it on. Yeah, weird, more like, stories. People weird, weird, like when we revisit like films or something, like, ten years time, we're all looking back. Oh. Yeah, well, for I mean, look at 1917. Yeah, yeah. That was an amazing story that needed to be told. Yeah. And That's that true. was a hundred years after. So they're yeah. you know a hundred years from now they'll be telling some of the stories that need to be told about this. Yeah, yeah. There are a lot of stories that yeah, sure. need to be told. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. It's all good. Fit is gonna, <laughs> just, 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 we need it. This, I'm just want to end. Like, I'm ready now. Yeah. Someone asked me earlier, like, what show would be the first show I see? Like, I'll just see anything at this stage. Anything. Give, give whatever, yeah. I got I got so excited. I bought tickets to see Six in the drive-in, and that, oh, was, yeah, that so, made yeah, me really so really sad. Good. Yeah. yeah. But, it, I mean... It, 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 yeah, baby steps. We'll we'll be back. Yeah, yeah. Like, obviously, like I say here, we've not had the chance. Obviously, fitness has been happening for a couple of weeks now, isn't it? Here and ever. But hopefully, now Leicester's open a bit more. We'll get a bit more. Yeah. 
local stuff. So well, yeah, from, we have from, to be careful and we have to do it, you know, when it's right. And the yeah. more tracking and tracing that's available, the, yeah, yeah. you know, I, I just went on a, a Zoom last week with um, a reunion Zoom with Phantom of the Opera from the States, which I did for many years. Yeah. And one of our musical directors is working on Phantom in Seoul. And he said, you know, it's, they're doing it. They're yeah. getting 1600 people in a night to see the show and they all wear masks and they all get their temperature taken. And they're, you know, they're all, they write, if you buy a ticket, you have to write all this paperwork to say yeah. where you've been and where and who, you know, and all the rest of that. And it's, yeah. they're managing it. And I think we can manage it too. It just, it's, it's going to take some organization. And, yeah, because a fr yeah. friend, friend of a met up yesterday, she went to the Beverly Night one at the Palladium. Amazing. Was that, talking about that, was that right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, I mean, that was a great experiment and yeah, yeah. really important that, mm. you know, bless Sir Andrew Lloyd Webber for yeah. doing that, yes. for just saying, look, this is, this is possibly the future. So let's look at this. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna ask a couple hmm. more like general questions. Okay. What are your, as an audience member, or kind of at home, like films? What are your favorite musicals? <sighs> My favorite musical of all times is a Little Night Music, and I, I just think that the writing is genius, and the stories are, you know, just fascinating. About oh, I think we just lost our power. Oh. about relationships and yeah. yeah that's one of my all-time favorites um gosh right now my favorite well my favorite thing on tv i don't know it, it, oh, it's just really really hard to watch is i may destroy you um oh, yeah. wait, have you watched any of that not yet no. oh it's it's a difficult watch it's yeah. absolutely brilliant and then when you think about the woman that is starring in it also wrote it yeah. and it's autobiographical yeah. it just blows your mind so yeah anyway um yeah. gosh so many yeah so many favorites <laughs> yeah. that's, that's probably the worst question it? it changes every day doesn't it kind of it does, absolutely does yeah 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 depending on what mood uh to kind of wrap it all up what would be <laughs> the best advice you could give to someone watching if they wanted to become an actor in the future all that. right uh, the the best advice is to play the long game. Somebody yeah. gave me that advice and it's just, you have to be patient and I'm not a patient person. And that is the hardest thing. And I have to keep giving myself that advice every day. And yeah. because it, it just, this business takes time. It takes time for people to trust you and it takes time to, to learn things. I mean, I finished my drama degree back in 1990 and I study practically every day still. Yeah. And it's also important within that of playing the long game is you need something that enables you to play the long game. And that means something that makes money and yeah. it's okay to work a job that isn't your dream and your career. And I was working front of house and I loved working front of house because like now I can call myself a bartender sort of, but also I got to see some amazing shows and it was amazing when, cause I was working at a big touring house. So in Woking and we had, you know, all my friends would come in on their tours and I'd get to say hi to them. So yeah, that unfortunately when both your career and your bread and butter job are both in the same industry and the industry is quiet, it's very hard. So um, yeah. Biggest advice, play the long game and yeah. find a bread and butter job that yeah. you enjoy as well. Because, yeah, yeah that's the way to survive. I'm and don't be ashamed of that. You should yeah. never be ashamed of your bread and butter job because yeah, yeah. It's, it's what's making you able to be the artist that you can be. So, yeah, yeah. Very, good, <laughs> very good advice. Very <laughs> Great. I guess, I guess almost like keep learning as well. One of them things. Keep and keep learning. learning. Yeah, keep, absolutely. Keep, yeah. Kind of keep like you say, keep creative yeah. and keep keep the juices going. Don't like, don't rest on it. Absolutely. Well, absolutely. Well, there's always things yeah. to learn. Yeah. I've been doing some amazing classes on Zoom audition skills. How yeah. important is that? Because now I'm doing Zoom auditions. Yeah. Exactly. I've been for the last few years. I've been doing self taping um, classes, and yeah. thank God for that. My self taping skills are 
on, I am like the best at something. <laughs> anyone watching? There you go. Need an yeah, I think Carolyn actually has done the same self-taping course and yeah. it is amazing. So, yeah. yeah. Amazing. Well, Brilliant. that wraps, wraps it up. Brilliant. Thank you so much, Mark. And go and yeah, rest so, your brain. You've been amazing all morning. I've got, I've got an hour now. So <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh, Brilliant. Amazing. Great to see you. And I will and see you again when this is all over. Very soon. Yeah. Be somewhere. Very soon, I hope. Some theater somewhere. Brilliant. Uh, thank you, well, Jordan. Thank you. Have a good afternoon. Thanks, you too. We'll see thank you again. You. Bye. 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 Bye.